you need to see this. This is a new tool that recently just dropped, which allows you to take a single image and, using AI, generate an entire 3D playable world. You can even take these generated worlds and you can put them inside of Unreal Engine, inside of Unity, or really anything that you want to. And unlike Google Genie 3, which uses AI to generate every single image, once this is generated, it's done. You don't need AI to run constantly in the background in order to explore this world. Once it's made, it's made forever and you can play it just like any other normal computer game. Now, in order to use this tool, there is currently a wait list, but you can already explore all of the generated worlds that have already been created by people who have gotten through the wish list on their application, which if you want to download, you can get that using the links below. Just go sign up and you can download and use this for free. It's absolutely incredible. Now, if for whatever reason you don't know who I am, hi, my name is Connor Hill, also known as Blue Drake 42 I've been on YouTube for so long. I recently finished my master's studying machine learning and data science. I also own a game development studio and we've been creating games for a long time. So I'm interested in AI, but I'm very specifically interested in AI as it pertains to creating interactive worlds and creating video games or potentially at this point, even things beyond video games. I mean, we're getting into true The Matrix realms here, but some of these tools are now starting to make people realize how you could use something like this to create incredible things that you can use to make video games or any other kind of interactive experience faster, or in some cases, not even just faster, allowing you to create experiences that were never physically possible before. And the most insane thing about this is it doesn't just work on generated AI images. It also works on real life photographs as well. So here is a photograph of, I assume, London. And it will actually generate an entire world for this as well. Even behind the camera, if you take a picture, it will generate everything behind you and in front of you as well, where you will have a full 360 degree generative world just from a single image. Like, I mean, let's see what this, let's see what this creates behind us. Look at that. That wasn't even in the image at all. It generated all of this just from what it thinks everywhere else in this image should theoretically look like. So again, if you want to get access to this tool, go sign up using the link below and there will be information on how you can get this running on your own computer. There is a wait list for people who actually want to use this to generate worlds, but while you're waiting to get on the wait list, you can preview and explore the worlds that have already been generated. And if you go sign up, we will make sure that you get notified as soon as this tool becomes publicly available. But first, I want to show off a couple of interesting things about this tool that I thought were really, really cool. So first and foremost, I want to show you how not only does this tool have the ability to generate the world behind you, but it also has the ability to generate places in the image that it can't even see. So as you can see in this image, this is the image that was used to generate this world. And naturally, I mean, it can't see the sky. It can't see what's behind this building. It can't even see what's behind this building either. But if we were to just walk, or in this case, fly into this image, oh my Gosh, <laughs> it's generated this entire world b behind these pieces in addition to everything that would be behind the camera as well in order to still allow you to have a fully explorable 3D world. I mean, look at this. This is an image and there's all of this, you know, potential depth and all of these things out here. But for an AI to figure that all out and create something as detailed as this, even in spaces that it can't see, that's remarkable. Other things that it is really good at doing is creating spaces that are just weird. 
So here is a space that, I mean, I don't know, doesn't really look like anywhere that exists, but it's still able to keep that same style and that same consistency in all directions. I mean, look at this. This is a this is a four way hallway that it is created off an image of just a single hallway. So it's created three additional hallways that all have the same style, the same consistency, in all of the different directions based off of this one image. And that's something that you can really push the boundaries of. As you can see with this, this is a highly stylized image. I mean, this is just a piece of art, basically. And that's one of the coolest things that I think AI is used for, is to basically just step into the world of a painting, where it will then create the entire world of that painting. Look at this. There's like little houses, little boats these giant majestic waterfalls in this canyon, you can step inside of the painting and it turns it into a fully 3D world all with that same consistent style. But it also does photorealistic environments really well as well. I mean, all of the, the shading and the lighting and even the window, as you can see, as you look out the window... The things outside of the window have like this slight parallax effect because it understands that there is depth outside of the window. I don't know how you would get out of this room though because there's no door or even crazy art pieces like this. I mean, this room of boxes. Oh, wow. Look at that. I don't even know what that could be, but it thought it up. Now, there are limitations to this, as this is using Gaussian splatting, which you can convert and actually turn into a model that's usable inside of Unreal Engine. But you can see that there are parts of it that, if it doesn't have enough information, gets kind of blurry. But I feel with its ability to create environments that doesn't have direct information about, but it can still create, you know, things behind doors, things behind the camera. Maybe if you were to put enough power into this model, who knows, maybe it just could continue generating the world on forever in every single direction. And again, unlike Google Genie 3, once it generates that world, you don't need to continue running the AI in order for that world to continue to exist. Once it's generated, it's generated forever. Man, that's that's an incredible concept. I think some of the coolest creations are these abandoned room, abandoned building creations. I think it does a really good job of nailing that aesthetic I mean, that's so cool that I can do all of this. But even these other science fiction fantasy worlds that you can now generate a whole... I mean, look at this. I mean, you could send this to a level designer and just be like, yo, make this. <laughs> and and I, they would be able to take this and clean it up and work with it. This is such an incredible creative tool for interactive media developers of all kinds. So if you think this is cool, you want to try this out for yourself, click the link in the description, go sign up, get on the wait list, and you can play around with some of these worlds that have already been generated. And besides that, this technology is only going to continue advancing, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. So let me know down in the comments if you had access to this. If you had this today, if you signed up for the waitlist and they gave you that access, what would you use this to create? I would love to see your answers in the comments. And besides that, if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.